In this lesson, we will learn how to create presets called command keys. Command keys are used to recall looks with a single mouse click. There are many ways to configure command keys. In this lesson, we will review the four most common ways to set them up. First, locate the command key tab located to the left of the properties panel. Since there will not be any command keys configured, the panel will be empty. If you right click in the command key panel, you will get four options. Add empty, add from screens, add from preview, and add from program. Add empty will simply add a blank command key, typically used for removing everything off the screen. Add from preview will add all layers active in the preview pixel space. Add from program will add all layers active in the program pixel space. And add from screens will add all layers active in both preview and program. For this example, we will use the add from program option. First, add your layers by right clicking in the program pixel space and adding layers. Assign sources to the layers by dragging sources from the source list onto the layers. Adjust your size and position, and edit any keyframe values such as borders, shadows, aspect ratio, and crop. When you are satisfied with the layout and wish to save it, right click in the command key panel and choose Add from Program. You will be prompted to name the preset and the system will place a key in the command key panel. On the key you will see a preset ID, name, icon, a button to recall to program, and a button to recall to preview. If you click the key you will be able to change the name and type of command key. There are two types of command keys, relative and absolute. An absolute command key will affect all layers in program and preview regardless of what layers are already on the screen. A relative command key will only affect layers saved in that command key. If a layer is on the screen that is not in the relative command key, it will remain untouched. If you select the PGM button, all layers will be recalled into the program pixel space. If you select the PVW option, all layers will be placed into the preview pixel space. Scripting is another function built into each command key. Execute a command key and select the tab called Script near the bottom left of the software. In the Script panel, you will see a list of layers across the top and a list of cues on the left of the panel. To move to the next step in each script, you can manual advance to the next cue, or each cue can have a wait or time-based trigger. You can also integrate function keys such as a background mix on each cue. If you click on one of the source elements in the script, you will also have the options such as name, source, pixel space assignment, start queue, queue length, and entrance and exit options. Each source element can have its own separate set of values defined in the script.